My life has changed dramatically since I decided to be more environmentally conscious, but I still don't feel like I'm doing enough. So I decided to set out around the world to help make a difference. What we save, saves us. I'm going around the world to do my part. Will you? Now, if anyone knows one thing about me, it's my obsession with dogs. So one of the hardest things about this visit was hearing about the animal abuse. She's Aurora. She was raped by a human. She was raped by a human. It's been a lot of recovery, the surgery, and the, all the psychological recovery yeah. because animals are like us. Since I started experimenting with veganism, I've gotten mixed responses. A lot of my friends don't understand how harmful these industries really are. I have had a few people ask me, but milking cows isn't hurting them, or drinking milk isn't hurting the cows. How is it hurting them? Somebody asked me, what is worse, meat industry on day or dairy industry? Dairy, dairy industry is worse. Juliana's Animal Sanctuary welcomes volunteers from all over the world. So I jumped on the opportunity to help out. <laughs> this is the pig area. <laughs> this is have to clean pool. But I didn't know how dirty this would get. Let me see the bubble oh, wrap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. That is part of the volunteer That's too. part of the volunteer to happy, make sure they yeah. have. Oh, okay, okay. What I have in my hand is typically what pollutes our beautiful oceans and rivers, and it's something that we take for granted every single day. Plastic bottles end up in rivers, which then end up in our oceans. And in turn, our fish eat the plastic because they are unable to determine what is, is actually food. This is the point where the river meets the ocean. On my way here, I walk through so much trash, diapers, plastic bottles, all kinds of house accessories. As I walked, I also noticed there were dead fish all over the side of the river. And I learned that that's typically because there's no oxygen in the water for the fish to survive. No oxygen due to the trash. Now, although I wanted to help clean the ocean, I was mortified. One of my biggest fears is drowning. And thinking of going down 40 feet into the ocean had me terrified. After a quick video lesson, I suited up. So I'm going down 40 feet, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna, feet, we're no gonna grab some garbage. <laughs> <laughs> my experience in the ocean was like no other. I never felt so in awe of my surroundings. It was the most thrilling, electrifying experience of my life. So as a biologist, what is your message or your mission that you're trying to send out there? I would like that the people love the ocean like we love it. Try to respect them. Underwater we have many lives that need our cares. Yes. That need our responsibility, our conscience, our, our positive mind. Yes. Because the world is in danger. I finally found people that share the same passion as me. I couldn't leave her behind and I was literally about to have a panic attack seeing her cry and ask for help. So I took her and she is now here and we finally brought her to a veterinarian in Santa Malta. My journey in Colombia has been absolutely life-changing. I did so much here and spoke with so many different experts. I volunteered at an animal sanctuary. I helped clean the ocean. I did my part here in Colombia. And next time, I hope you guys join me so we can help preserve this beautiful planet.